Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen and today I'm going to do a little bit of cooking as I do my vlog to you. It's the evening as I record this. It's been very windy. It's been very blowy. We're in November and it's getting cold. I have my Essie warming up nicely and I thought I would make an apple pie to go with some custard. Now, I am going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to use if I can find it, oh here it is, <laughs> I'm going to use some pastry that is ready-made. I'd like to do the pastry myself but just for time. This evening I've got the lovely Julia coming over and I do like to do a little bit of cooking for her. I enjoy it and I enjoy the satisfaction of when she looks at the meal and says, Richard, that was tasty. So I'm, I'm always pleased if it comes out like that. So we'll do our best with apple pie, but it's apple pie and blackberry. I've got some blackberries that I've had frozen in the uh, freezer. Oh, by the way, I'm filming the other way round in my kitchen in case you're thinking, hang on, that's not your kitchen. It is slightly different. Uh, it is rather lovely. Um, and I just thought I'd try this as a, as a unique way. Don't look at my door. I've got a curtain up here to keep the uh, to keep the cold out as much as I can. Anyway, so I'm going to be cooking. I've got a saucepan here. I've already melted, as you can see, some of my blackberries. So the first thing I know I've got to do is just pre-cook these apples, which these are brambleys, bramleys, bramleys, bram something, bram stoker in Worcester, bramley. Now I think. Bramley apples are cooking apples, I'm not too sure. This isn't really a, a cooking program because I'm not really a great cook. I, I'm adequate, you know, I can survive. I like to do things from scratch and you probably notice I've thrown away the cores and I'm sure that somebody somewhere will say, actually, you don't need to throw away the cores, you can keep that. You'll notice that this is one of my full length one shot vlogs in which I just either do stuff or talk to you. So we'll persevere with that for another month, I think, on and off, in between the other stuff. The um, afternoon tea uh, has gone down very well. I'm very pleased. I was very nervous about that, actually. I was thinking, oh, I wonder how that will go down. Aim to do more of those. So look out for those. Magazine-y programs. Had a visitor today, as I filmed this, a lovely lady called uh, Nikki and her friend, no, a lovely lady called Ellie and her friend Nikki, although I'm sure Nikki's friend is also Ellie, if you see what I mean. Anyway, the pair of them came round um, and Ellie used to run a pub called The Dolphin in Littlehampton with a lot of British memorabilia. Right, as far as I know, we just put this in the pan. I think I need a bit of sugar. I've got some sugar here. And I don't know how much sugar you put in, but I don't want to put too much. I don't want to make it too sweet. So I'm just going to put a little bit in. Um, and then a bit of water. Yes, yeah, so um, Ellie used to have a pub. She no longer has it. And she had it all decked out in English memorabilia. And she brought some round. Now, in the uh, afternoon tea with Richard and Julia, we're going to explore some of those items. But here's a, I'll give you a, a preview, but it's not really a preview. Back here, I'm hoping that the audio microphone will work, is I've just set up a little area, you, deepest background. Hello? Oh yeah, that's right. This is the Vobes residence. Oh, hello, Julia. You're coming round? Yes, I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, she's just checking to make sure that the blackberry and apple pie is going to be on its way, which of course it is on the SE. So I love cooking on my SE. It does get very hot and you need to put logs on it. But with the price of fuel, um, that's all right. So you had a lovely time. Oh, I've got some cinnamon. So I'm going to put some cinnamon in with the blackberries. Now, before we get on to the the blackberries, whilst they're sort of sorting themselves out, I need to decide, I suppose, what, what pan and what size pie. I could do a very big pie. 
or a slightly smaller one. It depends whether I use all the apples. In theory, what I'd like to do is line this and then top it rather than just, you know, just put a top on it. So that's a deeper one, isn't it? I don't know if I've got enough apples. However, I think, I think I might have some in the other room. I think, uh, if I remember rightly, when Ellie came round, she, uh, a friend of hers had some stuff in her garden, you know, in her allotment rather, and she, uh, she gave some up to me. I might go and see if I can find that. Now this is, as I say, a one tape wonder. So I'm, I might just go and have a look. It's in the other room. So hold the fort. I'll talk to you, but I think the microphone will cut out about here. So. Did it go terribly quiet? Probably did. Oh yes, here we go. This. These are eating apples, which I shouldn't really use, but if I need to, I can. But I also want to show you some of these carrots, look at these. These are genuine carrot roots. This is what a root really looks like, isn't it? We, you know, not the straight things that you get. The straight things are convenient for peeling and stuff, but these are much more the sort of vegetable roots that you would get. And apparently they taste absolutely delicious. And uh, here's a stubby little one. I might just try that. Hang on, let's just get that bubbling away. I imagine you could hear that. Let's just clean this out. Sorry, the, the sink is on the other side of the kitchen here. Get rid of that end. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Oh yeah. That is. Sorry to eat whilst I'm talking to you. That is full of flavour. So I'm going to part cook these. I'm now going to choke to death on, on camera as I try to swallow the carrot, carrot. I'm going to part cook these. I don't know how long that will take. So I need to roll out this. Which I shall do. So this is a very relaxed, uh, another relaxed video. You seem to have enjoyed them, which is quite nice for me because I'm pumping out, pumping out the videos as often as I can. It's the only way to try and make a living. From the, uh, from the YouTube thing, but people do say they enjoy it, so that is the main thing. So I might need some more of that, judging by that. I want them to be cooked, but not too cooked. They've got to bake as well, um, although it's only the pie that, that it's only the pie that's got to bake. So I have down here. This is the board I'm going to use for rolling out the. Uh, the short crust pastry. This is uh, uh, supermarket's own. Let's have a look, see what's in it. Ingredients, wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thermarin, vegetable oils, palm and rapeseed. Difficult, isn't it? Um, I don't like any of this really. Salt emulsifier, mono and Digliserides of fatty acids, concentrated lemon juice, preservative, which is potassium sorbate. So no doubt by the end of eating this, I'll be dead. But in small quantities on a one-off basis, for the sake of this vlog, I'm going to give it a whirl and see what happens. And you can let me know if there's a better way. If uh, anybody's got a recipe, by the way, richard at vobes.com. Richard at Vobes.com is my, oh here we go, is my email address and um, you can send me a recipe for making short crust pastry that is foolproof. Now look, this is already pre-rolled. That is amazing. How much do you get in there? That's quite a bit, isn't it? So I, I've never used this stuff before. Right, that 
Look at that. That is pretty much done. And, and I've got my thingy there. I think there might be enough. There might, there, I might need a, I might need one more. I'm tempted. Shall I put, shall I put one of these lovely sweeter apples in there? I need to put that in a container. Maybe I'll put, uh, hang on, I've got to get myself organized here. Um, that's my blackberries. I'm going to, well, actually, there may be enough. There may be enough. Let, we'll have a look. We can always add it before. So this is the problem I've now got is, uh, oh, I've only got this much pastry. Can I roll this out further? Can I make this thinner? I don't know what it says, actually. Uh, recipe, small handful of fresh spinach leaf, one tablespoon balsamic vinegar, large, what the hell are you talking about? Roasted vegetable quiche. No, 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 I don't want that. How to cook. Yeah, I want to know what you do with it. Preheat your, so I'm assuming, it's not much cop this, is it? Um, I think I might end up having to use the little one to try this out. Um, this is already a certain thickness, but I can't help feeling that you could roll that a bit more. There's already some of this grease poof paper. I, I got some of my, oh golly, hang on. It's all going a bit f funny here. Do you think I can roll this out a bit thinner? Maybe for the bottom, hang on. You see, if I do that, there's probably enough to do one pie. You're gonna tell me, no, no, it's too thick, it's too thick. Or you're gonna tell me, no, no, it's not thick enough. Or it's too thin. Now I did get some flour here. A little bit of flour, just to stop it from sticking. Um, so I think I can, although actually that looks like it's a bit broken. I think that can be a bit thinner because otherwise it's quite thick. I don't know what happens if you do it thinner. Well, anyway, we'll try it. This, sorry if this is very dull and boring. I just thought it might be a bit different, a bit interesting. So let's try that. I'm gonna put that round. I'm gonna cut out a pie shape with this knife. This is all an experiment, really. Never done it before. How are we doing? We're cracking on with the time. Oh, ooh, that's stuck now. So, question is, oh yeah, that's coming up. So now, before I do that, I ought to grease-proof this. So I've got a bit of grease-proof paper. And what I need, a little bit of butter. Unfortunately, I keep my butter in the fridge because of the essie, it melts so damn quickly. So we'll just give that a bit of, this is a grease, a non-stick, um, pan anyway, and it's quite new. Oh, that's the, oh, this is the small, I'm doing the small one. I forgot that. I'm doing the small one. Yeah, probably the best to do the small one, isn't it? Right, we've done that. Let's take this. It's like a, a floppy pizza. Okay, we'll put this in the bottom. I think I'm making a bit of a fool of myself here because actually I should have cut, cut a wider strip round. So, yes, that's what I could have done. Oh, I wonder if I could keep that as the top, actually. Shove that over there. That can be the top. Let's, uh, presumably you can use all this again. I'm gonna slice this off here. We're going to carefully need that back there. I'm told, I seem to remember now, when I last did this kind of nonsense stuff, um, I, I had to do this without the oven being hot because the trouble with the pastry is the butter melts. So, let's, I'm just going to do this a bit cack-handed. I'm going to make this a bit bigger like that. And this time, so you don't get, you don't get enough. I haven't rolled this out thinner, have I? Maybe I should do that. I don't know, actually, it's, it's the bottom. Let's leave that the same height. 
That's better. Look at that. That's that is actually flopping in there. Don't know why I didn't do that before. Like that. Now, let's. Uh, I am rushing a bit. I grant you. I don't want to push this in too tight, but I at the same. So I didn't need the rolling pin. So that's a, that's something I've learned. Right. Let's get this in there. Not too much of the juice. Cool. Look at that. Actually, so two of those brambly apples, look, they've, that's fitted. We'll top it with, now I don't want too much of the juice because I'm sure these will juice down some of these blackberries over the top like that, trying not to get the, too much juice in there because it's bound to leak. And then, oh, cinnamon. Excuse me, I'm going to have a cough. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing in that direction. It's still just as loud on the microphone. I wanted to put a bit of cinnamon in. This is definitely cinnamon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh gosh, go in there. I don't know how much cinnamon to put in there. Cool, blimey, I can smell that. That does smell nice. It's almost Christmassy, isn't it, as soon as you do that. And then we'll stick the top bit on. Now, in this vlog, you're not going to know how this comes out because we're coming to the end of the vlog already, you know, do it 20 minutes long. So I aim to take some pictures and tell you about it in the afternoon uh, tea with uh, Julia and me. Um, this, is, this does look a bit naff, I grant you the uh, ability to criticize and moan. However, you do this when you've never done it before, on spec, while you're filming, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if you're as good as I am. Um, and you probably are. I need a fork. Bear with me, I've got to come over to this side of the room. There we go, got a fork. So I want to just cut couple of forks because you see them in there I think that's so it can breathe I don't know how many to do really but that will be enough and they always stick a bit of flour on don't they oh no that's not flour I tell you what they do they, they shove some milk on uh, milk I've got milk but I haven't got a brush I haven't got a brush so how hot is that? Not very hot. So I'm going to put milk in here and uh, dab it on like this. And then I can put this in the oven. I'm sorry if this has been a bit dull and boring, but remember at any time you can turn this off uh, as, as indeed you know. So I'm going to put this in like this. It's kind of a bit cack handed. Um, I now what, 20 minutes? You reckon 20 minutes this will be good to cook for 20 minutes? I hope so. So I will tell you what this is like, not in this vlog. <laughs> That's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? But in, I must remember to take pictures and or get Julia to maybe comment if I remember. And um, we'll see what it's like. The oven, the oven is nearly hot. so. I want to cook this when Julia's here, put it in, 20 minutes, serve it. Going to have some custard with it and it will be lovely. But that's what it is now and it's all set to go. I need to wash my hands and pack up. I'm going to get rid of this last bit. So thank you for watching this. If you've enjoyed this cack-handed, English cack-handed cooking, if you've got recipe ideas for us to try, Maybe Julia and I can try one of these next time. Um, do send them in. But from me, in my kitchen, thank you for watching this little vlog of cooking an apple and, um, I nearly said Bramley. Is it Blackberry and Bramley apple pie? Till next time, bye bye. <laughs>